Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to find out the voltage regulation of this alternator using a zero power factor load. Okay, so when you come here, already the circuit diagram has been exp explained how to connect the prime over part and how to connect the excitation part and how to start this measurement. We are going to find out the voltage regulation of this alternator using ZPF method. Okay, so this is very important to find out the ZPF characteristics of this alternator as well as to predetermine its efficiency using quartet triangle method. So the procedure of starting this experiment is very simple. So here you have an excitation system. So the connections is already given as per this circuit diagram which is explained in a previous video. So now from positive you connected to the L, from armature you are connected to the bottom end of the armature winding. I mean the variable terminal of the rheostat is connected to the armature and AA we are connected to negative and the field I mean the three point starter we are connected to the bottom end of the field rheostat output of the field rheostat we are connected to the Z and from ZZ we are connected to the negative. So first what is the procedure of, procedure of starting this one is uh, first we have to give the supply to the DC shunt motor and keep feel that this field rheostat should be in minimum resistance position and this should be in maximum but it takes some time to start that's why I am keeping in a, a minimum position okay. So now we are going to start the DC shunt motor okay. So as soon as you start the DC shunt motor since the armature is in maximum resistance slowly it has been started and we have to exit it with constant speed by adjusting armature resistance. So as soon as you adjust it to the required speed, it will run with 1500 rpm. Now our DC shunt motor is rotating with 1500 rpm in 1000 rpm. Now which is insufficient, we are going to vary it with the help of the field winding which is there in minimum. We are trying to vary it to the maximum and we have to check the speed of the DC shunt motor. Okay. So now still it is unable to restore, I am using armature and I am trying to bring it to the required speed. So now your DC shunt motor is rotating with 13, 20, still I am increasing it. Now it is rotating with the speed of 14, 50 rpm and we are going to check out how this, we are going to have zero power factor loading for this. Motor. So now after rotating this prime over, we are going to use this excitation system and we are going to give the supply. How to excite this system is turn on the DC excitation. Okay. So as soon as you turn on the DC excitation, so we have to adjust this potential divider. Okay. So now slowly the potential divider we are going to increase. So as soon as you perform this OCC, you can see here slowly we are increasing the field current automatically the line to line voltage is also slowly increasing okay so now you can see here slowly we are applying the excitation to the rotor part and emf is generated from the alternator okay so now we need to apply the inductive load okay so how to apply the inductive load is already how to apply the inductive load is already explained you have to close this part okay let's try to bring to the rated voltage and let's try to close it okay so we are slowly increasing the excitation okay so slowly we are exciting the rotor part as soon as we are exciting or increasing the potential difference you can see here the voltage is around 70 into 4 and we are going to apply the load okay so how to apply the load is we are going to close the switch okay and now we are going to increase the inductive loading okay so now when you adjust this you can see here the you can see here we are adjusting it where it can have around 4.3 amperes slowly we are going to adjust in such a way that it will draw the maximum current so already it is known that this is drawing 5 amperes so when you connect an ammeter it will show that it is drawing 5 amperes of current 
so at this speed for this rated current of uh, 4.33 we are going to find out uh, the field current okay so now slowly we are reducing it and bringing to the original condition okay smell of sun